Hey guys, Ivan here and uh, let's talk about Olympia. Seven times Mr. Olympia champion Phil hit boom, out. Sean Rode in the current Mr. Olympia, boom, out. Three times runner-up, probably second best bodybuilder of 2010s, Kai Green, boom, out. 2017 runner-up, one of the most hyped bodybuilders of today, Big Remy, not officially, but it feels like he's out too. Cedric McMillan, rumors say that he is not competing as well. Nathan Diasha, due to his law issues, possibly out as well. Josh Lenartowitz, due to his health issues, possibly out. Now we have Harry Chopin, who brought something freaking crazy as hell at this on Cover Pro. In my opinion, the most impressive, the most freaky looking bodybuilder of today. Yeah, he's a little bit shorter, but he's very complete, he doesn't lack pretty much anything. And the way he peaked at the Vancouver Pro, his combination of mass and conditioning was pff, refreshing. Refreshing is the word that I'm using because I'm trying to be modest, but honestly, I would say mind-freaking-blowing. But hey, he is not an American citizen. He is from Iran, and Iran is on a no-travel list. Most likely, we will not see Hari Chopin at the Mr. Olympia, so most likely it's gonna be Hari out as well, and that will be a disaster. Now, all of these guys can actually show up. We're not sure if they're actually gonna compete or not, so it's possible to see them all. But the chances of them showing up are smaller than the chances of them not showing up, and some of them are actually banned and are definitely not gonna show up. And I apologize if you are fans of some of them, but you are probably not gonna see them, unfortunately. And I can work only with what I know. So I'm gonna try to make a top 6 list of 2019 Mr. Olympia with only bodybuilders who are officially competing. Who we know that are gonna show up. So, your top 6 is going to look like this, and most likely in this very order. Brandon Curry, Rolly Winkler, William Bonet. And these guys are most likely going to make your top 3, that's pretty much certain. They are very secure up there. But as far as 4th place, you can see at this list, 2018, Mr. Olympia results, 5 competitors out of top 10 are out, most likely. Not certainly, but most likely. And I have to say, if Phil Heath shows up with a little bit better controlled stomach, he can win the show. If Sean Roden resolves his law issues and gets unbanned, which is not gonna happen, but if it theoretically happened, he would be in that top 3 for sure. I don't think he would win it because of the allegations, he would probably not be the winner, even though if he'll look the best, I just don't think they would let him. If Big Ramy shows up like he was in 2017, he would probably win the show. If Cedric McMillan showed up, for example, the way he was in 2016 Arnold Classic, or even 2019 Arnold Classic Australia, he can crack the top 6 for sure, maybe even top 4. Nathan Diasha, if he shows up, he'll probably be in that top 6. Harry Chopin, with that perfect conditioning, he can probably be anywhere between 1st and 4th, and I'm very confident when I say that. If Kai Green brought his 2016 shape, he would win the show rather easily. And I'm sorry guys, unless we know that they're coming for sure, we cannot count on them. We need to count them out until they eventually, hopefully, announce that they are officially competing. So, Brandon Curry and William Bonac are definitely going to be in the top two, I would say. So, they have very secured places. Rolly, not so much. And the thing is, William doesn't have the best structure and there is a lot of negativity around him. Brandon Curry is the perfect representation for bodybuilding. He has perfect English. He's an American English native speaker. And he also has zero controversy and zero drama around him. So when it comes to those two, when they're both perfectly peaked like they were at the Arnold Classic 2019, Brandon will prevail. And now we have Rolly Winkler. Rolly was third at the Mr. Olympia, so he beat both of them. But Brandon Curry improved so much from 2018 Mr. Olympia to 2019 Arnold Classic, so he was much better than Rolly. Also, Rolly is not very consistent. He did not show perfect conditioning at the 2019 Arnold Classic. He was very well conditioned at the Mr. Olympia, still not perfect, but well conditioned, and it wasn't the case at the Arnold Classic, so we're, we are not sure what can we expect from Rolly, but we can expect from Brandon that he's gonna come in shape. And Luke Sando, for example, beat Rolly Winkler in 2019 Arnold Classic. So, if Luke comes perfectly picked again, 
If he comes dry as hell, maybe even a little bit improved since he is very young, he can actually beat you in Roly. He can crack the top 3 at the Mr. Olympia. It's possible, guys, it's fairly possible. But I think he will place 4th, actually, this year. Yeah, Mr. Olympia is the biggest show of them all, and I'm sure Luke will give his best to peak perfectly, to come dry as hell. But we're not sure if he's gonna do it. Maybe he fails somehow, maybe he makes a mistake. So, if that happens, we're gonna have an Indie Pro repeat. Well, he plays fourth. We had Steve Kuklo beating him. We had also Hassan Mustafa and Akim Williams beating him. So, these guys can actually destroy him. Maybe Luke will be out of top 10 if he shows up soft like that. But after so many shows with Chris Asito, I'm sure Chris knows the winning formula and I'm pretty sure Luke will pick perfectly. And if he actually does, with that kind of mass, symmetry, proportions, completeness, most of all, completeness of his physique, if he shows up like that again, like he was in the Arnold Classic 2019, he will be fourth place at the Mr. Olympia, probably, maybe even third, if he beats Rolly Winkler, who may show up softer. The funny thing about this Mr. Olympia is that anybody can place anywhere, because all these guys are beating each other in the past couple of years. I'm pretty sure at this point Brandon Curry and William Bonnet are the only secured guys, and Rolly Winkler to a certain extent. But for example, we had Hassan Mostafa, who had his pro debut this year, and he beat Luke Sando. Luke Sando, at the Arnold Classic 2019, beat Rolly Winkler. At the Mr. Olympia 2018, Rolly Winkler beat the entire Mr. Olympia lineup of today. Of course, he didn't beat Phil Heath and Sean Rodin, but they are pretty much out. They are probably not competing. So, by that logic, Hassan Mostafa, who turned pro last year, can actually win the Mr. Olympia. And I'm laughing because it's freaking possible. It's freaking possible, and that would be a huge upset. Everybody would be falling off their chairs, and that would be a very interesting thing to happen. And no, guys, Hassan Mostafa is not gonna win the Mr. Olympia, but I would love to see something like that, some huge upset, some guy who is nobody expecting to place high even win the thing. That would be... that would be great. Don't you agree? Wouldn't you love that? Somebody who is completely out of the conversation at this point show up and win the thing. I would really love that. I'm sure that many of you noticed that I haven't even mentioned Dexter Jackson at this point. But he's not something you can count on, really. He's 50. He's 50. I know, I know. He's a vampire. He's a blade. He doesn't age. I know, I know, I know. But, guys, it's real life. It's not a movie. He has to age eventually. So we cannot count on him beating Gears consistently, forever. It has to happen someday. And last year, he showed. He showed a lot of signs of aging. So this year... If he improves himself, I am not gonna be super surprised, but it would be highly unlikely. The chances are against him. But at this kind of depleted lineup, I think he has a chance to be 5th place, right after Luke and Rowley. So Dexter Jackson, 5th place, pretty good for a 50 year old, right? 5th in the world. Hm. Now as far as that 6th place, whew, that, that's a good question, and we're gonna have guys like Juan Morel possibly being 6th place, we can also have Akim Williams, Patrick Moore, John De La Rosa is a good contender, and I would say Steve Kupel, maybe even Michael Lockett. So that's gonna be the next guys in the line, but I think the safest bet right here would be Steve Kuklo or even John De La Rosa if he comes peeled like he was when he won the Puerto Rico Pro. And that's about it guys, that's your top 6, most likely, from the guys that we know are competing. We can speculate about the others, you can say in the comment section below, bro, this guy is competing, this guy is competing, this guy is not competing, I feel it, I, I know it, blah blah blah. We don't know, unless they tell us I am competing 100% officially, I signed the contract, we do not know, so we cannot include them. And that's about it for this video, guys. Tell me what do you think. Do you think this is an accurate top 6 prediction? Do you think somebody else will crack the top 6? What do you think about that 6th place? Is it gonna be Steve Kuklo, John De La Rosa or somebody else? What do you think about the 3rd spot? Do you think it's gonna be Rolly Winkler or Luke Sando or somebody completely else? Whatever your take is, tell me down below, tell me what you think, tell me your prediction for top 6 and uh, make sure to like the video. And if you want to see more videos like this, guys, just know I'm uploading them every single day. I'm very consistent, so subscribe, don't forget to do that. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.